guys, so in today's video, I'm going to share some ideas and some tips on how you can transition your home from summer to fall. And so some of the ideas that I like to bring in are cozy pillows, a throw that you can curl up with on the couch. I like to bring in light woods, dark woods, and everything in between. I like to bring in edible things, things that inspire the color of fall. I like to bring in nature inspired elements. And if you guys know me well, you know I love a good candle. But before we get started, I'm going to make a quick simmering potpourri just to set the mood. And I will leave the ingredients down below in case anyone is interested. So while that's simmering, let's go ahead and get started. So you guys know I just recently finished my kitchen table. And if you guys did not see that last video, it will be linked in my pre-fall playlist. And I'll have that listed below. So this is how it turned out. So if you saw the video, then you know that I gave it a whitewash, which is perfect for my decor. It had a natural wood finish, which was beautiful, but when I brought it into my home and tried to make it work, it was a little close to the color of the console in the back. And so I didn't want it to be matchy-matchy, so I thought I would go ahead and put a um, antique white stain on top of the natural wood and this is how it turned out and then to warm it up I went ahead and added some nice fall colors along the console in the back and then on the table I added a nice bouquet of flowers with a pretty hint of rose Now on one of my last videos, we went to the grocery store and I told you, you can find inspiration in the produce area as well. And so I picked up these beautiful Bosco pears and they work perfectly in the space. And I added different types of wheat in the vase on the console and that also brings in that fall feel. And then to warm it up even more, I brought in a trio of brass candlesticks. And the candlesticks were purchased from a local vintage boutique here in my area. The lamp was thrifted. If you guys don't remember or if you are visiting for the first time, I mentioned that these large lamps are trending. And so if you are looking for large lamps, I think the Goodwill is a very good place to take a look at before you pay the higher prices. So you know this candle that I'm burning is cinnamon vanilla and I got it from Home Goods. And it's by Sand and Fog. And it smells delicious. <laughs> okay, so here in the hearth area, I like to keep it nice and cozy in here as well. 
and it is quite a bit of a cozy space because it's pretty small but it is a nice place to be for fall afternoon the temperature permits i do like to light the fire but until then i like the warmth of the candles Now this is the one time that I did bring a pumpkin in the space, but the pillow is so cute, I couldn't resist not bringing it out. Okay, so you have seen the eat-in part of the kitchen. You've seen the lounge area of the kitchen. And so now, let's see the working part of the kitchen. Okay, so this is where the cooking happens over here. And so I do try and keep it pretty and functional. So here on the island, I kept it pretty low as far as decor. Sometimes I keep a flower up here and then sometimes I put it back on the uh, back wall at the back of the sink. And it just depends on what's going on and how I'm feeling. But I typically feel that when I put the flower at the back, it just opens up the kitchen and it makes it feel larger. So today I'm just burning a simple candle and of course I have a little snack and some snack plates. And then you guys see my potpourri in the back and it is smelling <laughs> very good. love to keep a clutter free countertop but sometimes it's just not doable so the next best thing is to keep it pretty and functional now this corner over here is what I call my decor corner it's not all that functional I just think it's pretty I like to put pretty things here and so I just have a lamp for a little ambiance and then I have these beautiful um, spoons that I got from Tuesday morning and I just love the stone on each spoon and so I thought they were perfect I bought them several years ago from Tuesday morning and I always like bringing them out in the fall I think the color is just beautiful and I think it just enhances my decor. And then I have a glass vase. I think I picked that up from Home Goods. And then this salt and pepper shaker I picked up from Pier One several years ago. Now here on the back of the sink, I just brought in some nice uh, fall florals and stems. And then here, I did bring in one little pumpkin. <laughs> and I think he's cute too. Well, this is the second time. And then just, you know, some kitchen sink basics. Now, if you're wondering about the soap dispenser, I did get that from Target, I believe last year, as well as this little tumbler. Now this was another item that I picked up from our grocery store shopping trip. And I thought they just fit perfectly with the color and with the time of year. And then this is my coffee station. Normally, I don't keep it as crowded. I picked up some new uh, coffee mugs lately, 
and not all of them fit in the cabinet. I do have to go through and clean them out. But in the meantime, I got this uh, marble tray to set some of the coffee cups on so that they can be ready at hand to use. Okay, so this last area of the kitchen is the hutch. And I don't always show the hutch because it is such a hard area to decorate as far as I'm concerned. But the last time I shared the kitchen, someone asked if I would share the hutch a little longer than I did. I think I just took a couple um, picks and moved on. So the dishes that are in the hutch are from, I believe it's um, Fritz and Floyd from Dillard's. And I picked those up maybe, it's been a while, maybe five years ago. Now these cups I just recently picked up from TJ Maxx and I could not believe I got them for $2 a piece. I could only find four, but I thought it was a good score because I had just picked up a little uh, container from Hobby Lobby a couple weeks ago and I like to use it outdoors because it has a lid. And so I thought these cups were perfect. Um, they match perfectly with it. so I hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video but have not yet subscribed I would love it if you would stick around and subscribe so that you don't miss out on my upcoming seasonal videos thanks for watching and I hope to see you at the next video bye bye